Your court television news starting now. Good morning, everybody. And I'm going to be as quiet as I can because I know it's still early for some of y'all, especially my friends out on the West Coast. <laughs> but I want to say a big thank you for everybody that's here to join me on a part two, I guess you can call it, of a continued of breaking news. Um, I've got some continued information as far as what we covered from last night, if you were here. So before I get going with my day, I wanted to come on and start this morning um, being the first, hopefully, to break this news. Now, I'm going to give it a couple of minutes for this notification to go out. In the meantime, I want to go down and say hi to everybody this morning. I know last night I was a little rude because we had so many people in chat, but not this morning. <laughs> good morning, Zen. Good to see you, my friend. Good morning, Mr. Worley, Mr. Floyd, or I'm sorry, I don't know if Mr. Or Miss, but good morning, Floyd X Zero. Good morning, Nervy. Let's see. Bohemoth Monkey, good to see you in chat. Uh, not sure if, uh, I guess it's pronounced Scoro. Um, not sure what's going on with that individual. Maybe there will be, like we discussed last night, some more charges coming. Um, because I know that video has been starting to gain a lot of attention. Um, I received a link this morning. It appears that it even made um, the the headlines of a eSports or eWorld, you know, um, news station. Um, let's see. Who else we have in here? Buffy the Bison. Good morning. Juan's Casa de Puta. Good morning. Not Wookie Swear. Good morning. What up, Roofer? Good to see you, my friend. What up, TM? Good morning. What up, Jadis? What up, Cesar? Let's see. All right. Well, good to see everybody in chat. And for everybody else that's just listening, we got a lot of people that may not even want to participate in chat, just here to watch. Good morning to you all. It is Tuesday morning. It is approximately about 7.47 a.m. my time, which is Mountain Standard Time. Um, I am here this morning, or why I, you know, put out this notification and brought you all to this uh, live stream this morning uh, was to let you know there's been some updates uh, to what has happened with this whole incident. So not going to spend any time on what we covered last night. If you're curious or haven't even seen the video or have no clue of what's even going on between Elisa Jordana and the other individual she got in an altercation with that happened in her vehicle on a live stream yesterday, I encourage you to go check out yesterday's live stream. It's posted as a VOD on the main page. You can check it out under the live stream section and check it out. But for the rest of us, we're going to continue on. So where we left off yesterday was uh, she had been arrested. She had been booked. She was in jail. Uh, at that time, we had no bond information. So I had said, well, my opinion or my guess is most likely, you know, she's probably going to have to wait to get that information when she sees a judge. That's exactly what happened. So here is your first breaking news update, all right? And for that, I'm going to share a screen here with you, okay? What up, PCB Beach Mom? Good morning. Good morning, Gold Girl. Was Elise actually given millions or more? I'm not sure. I'm, you know, I'm aware that this individual or, you know, I don't know if you want to call him an ex-former uh, simp, uh, pay pig, as some of people have referred to. Uh, I've been told as was a wealthy individual and may have uh, donated or gifted, however you want to call it, a lot of money. Now, the exact amount, I'm not sure. As this investigation and coverage continues, I'm sure a lot of those facts will start coming to light and I'll be able to present those more to you if that's something that you're curious of or, you know, have a question into. But for right now, I cannot answer that. All right. <laughs> what up, Kelly? All right. So where we are this morning, let me go ahead and share this screen. We've got a lot of them up here. Is we've got a first court appearance that is happening in Florida either right now or has already happened. Okay. It was scheduled for 10 a.m. this morning, which in Florida, they're about two hours ahead of my time. It is what? It's 7:58. It's wait. Oh, yeah. I'm here in 10 minutes. Okay. So hold on. Seven. Wait. Do I got this right? I thought, man, I, I must have woke up real early today. Seven. So it's 7:50 my time. Let's just call it eight. Yeah, we're two hours behind. Yeah, right? Yeah. So it's either about to start in 10 minutes. Excuse me. So it has not started yet. I was a little bit ahead of myself. So her first appearance is about to start, okay? 
Now, for some of you wondering, well, Angie, are we going to get to watch it? I'm not going to waste your time. If that's what you're here for, no. I've, I tried my best, and here's why. I'll tell you this. One, she will be appearing in person. It's not a Zoom link, okay? I'll even show you the proof. Well, yeah, I think I have the website up. I, I even called the clerk themselves to the judge that she's going to be going in front of and talk to them. And they even told me that, one, they don't do Zoom hearings anymore at that here at that court, okay? So right now, she is going to be here having her first appearance at the Palm Beach County Justice Complex, okay? Um it's at 10 a.m. this morning. That is Eastern time. Uh, it's going to be in front of the Honorable Donald W. Haffel. I might have pronounced that incorrectly, spelled H-A-F-E-L-E. -E. And most likely, we're going to find out after that first appearance what her bond amount is going to be, okay? That's usually what a first appearance is all about, okay? Then we'll find out once she gets her bond amount whether she's going to get bonded out. But uh, for right now, I can tell you that Elisa Jordana did spend the night in jail. As a matter of fact, I can tell you exactly where she was. Let's go look at this info here. Sorry, I got a little bit. What up, Sumi? What up, Wannabe? What up, everybody coming to chat? What up, Jay? If I missed anybody else, I apologize. All right, so let me share this here with you. But I did call. I was trying my best to see if I could bring that to you. But being that it's not going to be done in Zoom and it's going to be, at, you know, they bring her, I guess, from the jail that she's in. They they do it the old-fashioned way now, you know, or not now. They still do it the way that they've done it for a long time, which is bringing your ass, transporting you from the jail you're at to the courthouse and making you appear in front of the judge in person, all right? They're not even doing this stuff where, you know, they've got the little Zoom box set up in the jail place, you know, and they're, hi, from jail. Nope, they take them straight from jail to the courthouse. That's what's happening as we, as we speaking right now. So the only way that we could get any coverage of that is either somebody's there right now with a camera and got permission real quick to record, or we'll just find out, I guess, by me or maybe somebody else if they beat me to the punch by just giving you an update as soon as that hearing's done, okay? And that I will do my best. Most likely, like I said, we'll find out what her bond information's going to be. But in the meantime, I'll share with you what, what, what has been updated on the, let's see, I believe this is through the state of Florida. Let me tell you exactly. That way you guys can fact check me. This is actually through the mypalmbeachclerk.com website, otherwise known as their e-case view uh, search site. Okay. So through that website, you can do an e-case search. You've got to have some basic information. And if you got it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You put it in there and then this pops up. So let me share this with you. share. Let me make sure you guys can see what I'm looking at. Perfect. All right. So what we're looking at is pretty much the e-case view uh, for case number. And I'm not going to say it all. It's a long one. If you're curious, it's on the top left corner. All right. But here you can see this is going to be, and I'll highlight it, for Miss Elisa Ann Schwartz, otherwise known in her entertainment name as Elisa Jordana. All right. Uh, down here, I'm in the tab um, at under court events. So here you can see date, today's date, which is the 9th, 10 a.m., first appearance or a FAP. Now, location, GB, all right? That stands for gun club, or if you see next to it, room number one, gun club, all right? So what that's referring to is the road that this court is at, which is gun club road, and that is specifically referring to the criminal justice complex, which is one of the many courthouses that they have for Palm Beach County. But that is the one where she's currently already arrived by now, but going to be having her first appearance at. Now, if you're curious as far as her charges and sentences, um, let's, I might have to log in again. Oh, no, it's just going to make me do this. Hold on. Let me share this with you. Oh, hold on. It's going to make me do a name search here. All right, give me a minute. They're pretty easy here. All right, there we go. So let me make sure you guys can see what, okay, cool. You can see what I'm looking at now. So it looks like it, she had something else go on in regards to the Palm Beach County court docket. 
because, and we're not going to look into that right now, but it looks like there was a case type of cyber stalking that was filed back in August 7th of 2023. Looks like Lisa Schwartz versus Ortiz Diana Marie. That's been closed. But the one we're looking at is the one up here, the one I'm highlighting. So it's a misdemeanor type case. Arrest date was yesterday. It was filed this morning. There's her name. Status is open. This is the case number right here. Let's click on it. Let's go down the rabbit hole, as they say. All right. Then that takes us to the case info. All right. Oh, hey, there we go. Everybody that was wanting to confirm date of birth. I know that was a big question for everybody. Ah, and it looks like it is. Di well, I don't know if it is different from the one that she's claimed, but it looks like her real date of birth is on there. You can read it for yourself. I don't know how old she claims to be, but I was, well, let's see. I was born in 83 and I'm going to be 41 this year in July. 82, that means she's a year before me. So she's 41, 42 in June. All right. Uh, let's go to charges and sentences. There's your state statute, simple battery, domestic. Offense date was yesterday. Obviously, there's no sentences yet because today's her first appearance. Um, dockets and documents. Once, oh, there's some, there is some notes already here that we can look at. Let me just make sure I'm still sharing the same page. All right, we are cool. So there you go. Looks like there's already six docket notes already submitted into this record. Uh, most recent's going to be her division assignment, which again, this is how I found out which judge she was going to be appearing in front of, which is she's going to be going in front of division B which is part of the county criminal courthouse. More specifically, again, she, today she's going to be going in front of Dan or the Honorable Daniel W. Haffel over at the criminal justice complex. All right. Um, oh, yeah, her, her, her most recent one's the one down here. Excuse me. I was trying to figure out which order they went. So that's going to be first appearance set for this morning, 10 a.m. And again, at the said... Um, courtroom or courthouse that I just uh, listed or said previously. Um, what else can we look at? Uh, arrest and bonds. This shouldn't be updated, but I'm sure once she has her hearing, this will be updated. So of course there is no bond amount yet. And I'm sure that's what we'll find out this morning, what that's going to come out to be. So there you go, folks. NJ Courts. All right, putting in the work this morning for y'all. I actually have to be heading out to an appointment this morning here soon. Otherwise, I'd hang out and chit-chat for a little longer, but I just kind of wanted to update everybody from what was going on last night. So if you're just getting here, just for the quick update, she spent the night in jail. We found out that she's going to be turning 42 in June. <laughs> Not that that was important, but a lot of people are wondering. Um her, her charge, most importantly, is a misdemeanor and more specifically is, let's see here, just in case you didn't see, charges and sentences, simple battery, domestic. And she's got her first court appearance coming up or starting here in about a minute. All right. And that's going to be, again, in front of the Honorable Donald W. Happel uh, at 10 a.m. Um, Eastern Time. Uh, down at the Criminal Justice Complex, which is part of the Palm Beach County Courthouse Complex system. All right. Courtroom number one, to be specific. I don't know. I don't uh, subscribe to her. I'm sure if you um, just type in Elisa Jordana, I think she's got two channels, right? She's got that Kermit the Frog podcast or whatever she does. And then she's got her, her own personal uh, YouTube channel, I think. But again, I, I tried my best to see if I could bring you that hearing. Um, as a matter of fact, I was on while I was trying to do my research. I originally thought I knew what courtroom she was going to be in. And I was 
they had Zoom hearings at that courthouse. But then I started doing more research. Then I finally called just to confirm my research. And that's when I found out, nope, wrong courthouse. She's at this other court, the justice complex. And then when I went and investigated down there, that's when I found out that unfortunately they don't do Zoom hearings anymore, just do in-person hearings. So they're going to take her. Oh, uh, just to show you or give you where, let you know where she spent the night in jail at. Um, uh, let's share this tab. I forgot to press the link here, which didn't give us any new information for, from what I told you guys last night. But if you're curious her exact cell where she spent the night at, that's where I think the link took you. Let's, let me tell you, let me show you exactly what I mean. Sorry, it's still a little early for me, so I'm kind of tongue twisted. I might even have to log back in. Yep, I do. Give me a second. Hold on. Let me pull that up here. There we go. All right. So this is what I shared with you guys yesterday. So this is her booking information. She's at the main detention center, her cell location. And maybe we did see this, but I don't remember it. So um, her main, her cell location was M-W-06-A-11-B. And the arresting agency was the um, Palm Beach Sheriff's Office. <clears throat> and then I think when we click on her booking number, yeah, it just tells you more about her charges, battery, touch, or strike. And, of course, she's waiting on getting her bond information now or bond amount. We click on main detention center. That'll probably tell us about the main detention center. Yep. Yep. That's on Gun Club Road. So I guarantee you the reason, I guarantee you this is attached or right next to that um, criminal justice complex that's right on Gun Club Road as well. Hence why they do first appearances there. I guess if you are going to be transporting a prisoner, the closer the better. Less gas you got to spend for the taxpayers. I don't cover those updates. Sorry. Just court news. <laughs> <laughs> but uh as 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 the updates come i will share those with you um as i said yesterday um i did even before the uh the mugshot came out as soon as i heard she was getting arrested i i i kind of just went on my my instincts i i assumed it was the palm beach county or sheriff's office and that's who i submitted my foia request to so um, fingers crossed, I requested the body cam footage as well as the incident or police report. So um, I did already get an email back with my, they, they do, it's, it's an automated email, but pretty much they attach it like a, a case number to my request, which means they've got a pretty much, they, I think with Florida and most states, I think say like they give you like a certain amount of days. And then after that, if they don't have it processed, it gets like, goes to like the next step or level but usually florida has been really good about getting me all my foia requests sent back pretty much within like 72 hours so uh maybe we'll get something as far as an incident report today but uh, this is all i have as far as an update for you okay so uh first court appearance this morning it's starting right now as we speak and as soon as i get any more information or an update from that i will share that with you but maybe a little bit later um, just because like I said, I'm going to be busy doing some stuff today. Um, otherwise I'd hang out with you guys longer and chat. Uh, let me see here. Just getting some messages. Just want to make sure there's nothing else that's important to break to you guys. Well, I guess it made world star. Yeah, it's, 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 I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other channels covering this. Cause this is stuff, this stuff's making national attention now. So. <laughs> creepy stuff hey i haven't you well the ones in the dirt yet haven't even broke dirt um hopefully tomorrow i'll have like i can tell you we got a centimeter going on the plants 
<laughs> All right, you guys. No, not 35. We we uh we confirmed that she's 41, working on being 42 in June. Did she used to say she's 35 or what? Damn, I thought she was gonna say, okay, I'm like 39, you know, hiding a couple of years, but like I said, I, I didn't really follow her. You know, I just followed her a tad bit when I was starting to cover the uh, uh, Jimmy the Christian case. Then once he got arrested and I started covering the court aspect of that side of that case, you know, I stopped really much following anything going on with her, you know. But now we find Elisa into the uh, meeting again in the ranks of the NJ Courts News Channel. So I will do my best to give you any and all updates that I can, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we don't know yet. Um, if somebody wants to or knows, I don't know his information. If somebody knows it and they want to, you know, send it to me, you can DM me, you can email me, um, and I can do a search for it. Um, I'm not going to publicly share that info. Now, if it pulls up in the search and it's public information, then absolutely, you know, I can share that with you as an update. But it will at least allow me to check to see if that individual has been charged yet. I'm working on it. Hot rail hype. That's why I got a busy morning today and busy day. But uh, hopefully I'll be coming out later with some more breaking news. Worst case. Uh, it's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. I've got a court news midweek update for you guys tomorrow. So as promised, I will have many more updates. This morning was just uh, on the Elisa Jordana case. All right, you guys, I'm going to get ready to head out. You guys have a wonderful morning. Uh, love you guys. Take care. Remember, keep your head on a swivel, man. Check your six. Love somebody. I'm not going to say I'm officially out. Also, it's too early in the morning. I don't want to have the fucking dogs barking and yelling right now. I don't want a headache. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what up, ICU? All right. What up, everybody? Any latecomers in? I apologize if I didn't say hi, but welcome. Thanks for all my mods for being here this morning. I know it was a, you know, these breaking news updates go. You get a really quick notification, not much time. And so I always appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate all my members of the jury here, my friend, members of the jury, members of the jury for being here this morning. All my friends, I appreciate y'all for taking your Tuesday morning to be here. And again, I appreciate everybody else, whether you participate in chat, whether you just like to listen and hang out, whether you're back there going, fuck you, NJ. Hey, a hater's a hater and your views of you still count, right? So, all right, you guys, have a good rest of your Tuesday. As I get the updates going, I will try to update you. Again, I do have some personal stuff to take care of today. So maybe other channels might, you know, have more updates throughout the day before I can get to it. Um, but again, you know, I will always try my best to update you as soon as possible. All right, everybody, have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday morning. Adios and peace. <laughs>